Hey everyone, it's Linda with Scrap Chica Studio and I'm bringing you guys a video. Uh, first I want to say Happy Valentine's Day everyone. Um, hope you guys are spending it with loved ones and having a great awesome day. Um, this is a video that I've been wanting to do <laughs> since last week. I've had this mini done for at least a week and a half now. And I'm just now um, doing the vid on it. I swear, I mean, time is going by so fast, you guys. It's, if I blink, you, you missed a lot. So, but here's a mini. It's an acorn mini, as you can see, and I'm so proud of it. Um, I really like how it came out. Um, very simple. Um, kind of on the lines like the owl mini um, for Susie's um, birthday um, blog uh, mini that I did. And it's kind of on the same lines, very simple, um, but very colorful and kind of cutesy um, kind of stuff. So let me go over it because I'm going to babble. <laughs> um, here's a mini, and as you can see, it's shaped like an acorn. And you can hardly tell a little on the front, but when you turn it around, oh my god, isn't that cute? Like, I love it! Uh, this was cut off the Cricut cartridge, but... On the Cricut cartridge, it doesn't have this top. I had to alter the top and alter um, the rest of the the chipboard uh, to make it with this type of a top. The, the little top, you'll see it inside of the mini because I have little acorns, and that was the original image, but I didn't think that there was enough room for the eyelet, so I altered it. Um, but this is the image on the Create a Critter cartridge with that squirrel. Um, yeah, like his accessory. So here's the squirrel. I love him. Super, super cute. Um, I love that whole cartridge. It has to be one of my um, favorite cartridges out there. You can do so much with it and make anything, you know, cutesy and everything. I love that cartridge. Um, I used a Sizzix embossing plate to get the hearts. I'm going to kind of see if you can see them. Um, you, um, uh, and I got that embossing plate, you guys, for $2.70 last year um, at Michael's because it was on clearance. And I have a couple more, like, hearts and other little, like, they're little tiny embossing that have, like, words like love and stuff. But this embossing plate, real good investment, um, you know, for days like, or holidays like Valentine's. Um, I used American Thicker foam stickers um, here on the front, and they don't come like this. <laughs> They're just plain brown. I used a, a brown zig marker and just outlined the letters just to make it pop a little more. Um, here I used Cosmo Cricut um, Tiny Type uh, letters to spell out I'm totally um, about you. And right here I just hand wrote um, this year. I did some paper roses out of the collection, which um, the paper collection was from a couple years ago, I want to say. And it was the k and Company Kazoo collection. Real cutesy and kind of more for like um, uh, kids. You know, like Valentine cards. You had, you had punch out cards, stickers. And, and that's what came with the collection. But really cute paper. I love the colors in it. Um, and I've had it in my stash, you know, for the past two years. <laughs> so, decided, so I made some, um, just some hand rolled roses there. And the image was cut out at, I want to say, three and a half inches. And here I had to alter his hands because he has a little body where his hands are in the body. So I just... Um, just hand cut, you know, look like uh, like a little U shape, and I inked them um, so it looks like he's hanging, you know, off the banner there. Um, so there's that. Up here I have some ribbon, and I could not be a mini without a charm set. <laughs> so I have some buttons, and I don't know if you guys remember these. These are Heidi Grace um, acrylic pieces. Oh. Yes, these are old school. These were the in thing at one time, and I don't. I 
have not found any. I found some by K&I uh, memories that are, they have words on them and, and they're more like stickers, but they're like acrylic um, pieces. But these I've had forever. And so I drilled a hole in there uh, to make it as a charm. And I have this big one and I have a little light pink colored one here. Colors of the paper collection in here, buttons, um, things like that. I've used a piece of twine from the twinery um, in the dark pink color just and made a little bow. And then I had this in my stash. Um, this was actually, um, I had ordered some charms, I believe last year, um, from Etsy, a person on Etsy who was all the way, lived in China, and he had sent me this, um, kind of like, you know, a little extra, and I, perfect for this mini, so I love this little guy, I love squirrels, I'm from Michigan, and I miss the squirrels, <laughs> I know, I'm such a dork, I swear, I miss squirrels, oh my gosh, <laughs> Um, so here's the first page and I love the colors you guys the colors really do it for me they pop they they give out that you know ooh, you know kind of feel and here um, I use the circle punch and a heart punch and just kind of staggered them and then I went and took my piercer um, tool and you know pierce holes so that I can just hand thread the needle and thread through there so I hand did the little X's, not a, you know, big thing. Used another little circle punch and a heart punch. And your picture can totally just, you know, slide in there. Um, this one, turn it around, is little, those little banner pieces that everyone is doing. Um, and, and more little punched out hearts. And this is simple. <laughs> It, it doesn't have a bunch of, you know, a lot of the bling, a lot of accessories. I don't think there's not even one piece of bling on here. Um, so, I'm kind of using up what's in my stash, and I'm really liking how it's coming out. Um, because you, you try and use um, everything, even the little scraps, you know. So, these are a bunch of scraps, and it doesn't take very much paper, um, you know, to get this kind of a look you know to use everything within you know that collection or that certain color of cardstock um, so it really worked and I'm really happy with that so I made some uh, journaling pieces here used ribbon and just kind of brought out what's in the paper collection with the hearts in, in the circle um, so your picture can totally slide under that ribbon there and here's a pocket page. I love this pocket page. You know, really cute. Um, I love it. And I just did a bunch of punched hearts. Did a little, um, it's an EK success punch. And I cut it in half because it looks like um, a little frame, kind of. So I just cut it and used the top half as a little bracket. You could probably fit a name or a date there. Made two simple um, journaling um, tags or um, you can put pictures there and this one here's the acorn <laughs> and this little acorn has a little tiny top it looks like a little nub <laughs> and so that's why I had to make it look you know like kind of like a pumpkin um, top so I, I just kind of altered it, but this is the original what the little acorn was supposed to look like off the Create a Critter um, cartridge. So just another space for a picture, and your picture can go under the acorn. Um, more journaling. Um, I love this page. It, I really love how this came out. The colors are just awesome, you guys. Um, use some twine up here made a banner out of circles, um, half circles. I used a punch by EK Success, I believe it's one inch, and cut out letters from the robot um, cartridge and made the I and U, another punched heart. Um, you can use the um, strips and then use the, let me can focus here, the uh, Tim Holtz, <laughs> um, the tiny fastener, and 
did some pop dots under the little heart and picture can totally slip right under um, those you know things and under the little banner oh I cannot wait to put pictures in this um, here's the other page I used a bigger um, I want to believe this was songbird cartridge and just used the frame and made it small I believe it's like one and a half and just cut it in half you know and you can have extra pieces so you can totally write you know something small there just did some of the paper um, more circles and half circles here's that little frame from the songbird collection or cartridge I'm sorry um, here's an acorn with um, some twine from the twinery another little punched heart just to um, give it detail and I inked around all everything the everything I inked and here's this one and it has those three little um, I want to say banner kind of like the little banner pieces on the side here um, here's a heart and an acorn and it's not fully tacked down because I want the picture to go and then I can tack it down so it's just um, secured with just a little dot of you know adhesive I love this page hey. um, here's some journaling and the acorns you guys I used some of the dark pink and then just used the brown to add little details and stuff to them and I love okay on the cover <laughs> I do not have the scallop and I'm kicking myself in my butt because I really should have but I didn't see it so I just thought it was plain and so when I made the cover to the top of the acorn mine is just plain it doesn't have this cute little but it worked it it wasn't a big deal but <laughs> I know why do we beat ourselves up I swear I should have did that but it came out cool, so I, I'm, I'm okay with it. Here, I just used a simple... Uh, the colors I used of cardstock were craft, uh, dark brown, and like a light brown. Um, and, and that's all the cardstock I used. And all the mats are matted with the craft cardstock. So it's fairly simple, and there's no dyes. There's no... It's good old your trimmer and cutting mat so nothing you know really hard of how to you know get this look um, here's another little um, frame that I cut in half to make it look like a little bracket uh, picture can totally slip Ay. okay uh, right under here and last page um, just another simple page another large bracket I believe this is one and a half and then I made a one and a half circle, cut a smaller circle, I want to say maybe at one and three quarters just to give it a border, you know, and put acorn into little hearts. Did some more of the um, embroidery floss stitching there and picture. And I just need to finish it and, you know, put my name in the gear. But, oh. I love this embossing plate, you guys. It's the Sizzix, um, like, Valentine. And see how this is plain? I didn't catch that it was scalloped. I would have liked to have done the scallop, but it it works. It <laughs> so, so there is my Valentine mini. And, again, I hope you guys are having a great day um, with your loved ones. And I will see you all later. Adios.